What have you witnessed a bride or groom do at a bachelor bachelorette party that you thought would ruin their marriage if their spouse found out? When I was in 11th grade my physics teacher randomly broke down in tears, telling us about how his fiancé ordered her bachelorette. Turns out it was supposed to be their anniversary. We watched a movie that day. I know a guy who was completely against having a bachelor party, but his friend insisted. He agreed, on the condition there would be no strippers, because his fiancé was against that. They took him to a strip club and paid a stripper to give him a lap dance, and they took pictures of it. After the bachelor party, this friend told him, if you ever pee me off, I will show these pictures to your wife. Years later, this guy was working for the friend part time. He was told he had to work on a certain day, but he couldn't do it. This ashat mailed the pictures to his wife, and they ended up separating for a long time. They're together again, not because she didn't find out, but despite the fact that she did. It never ceases to amaze me how horrible some people can be with no real motivation. Stripper here. One time a guy was begging me and my co-workers to have sex with him for money. No one would. When he was begging me for the third time I realized the guy next to him was the father of the bride. This girl's father was happily watching her future husband try to buy sex. You sure her dad wasn't threatening him saying I can't let you marry my daughter without knowing if you can satisfy her in bed. You know she's a freak in the sheets. This thread is doing a serious disservice to us who just got a steak with their buddies, went golfing, and played poker all night. See, I'm getting married next October, and this is exactly what I want from my bachelor party. I don't want the strippers and crazy parties. TL. DR ordinary stripper becomes disgusting sideshow. It was all pretty standard stripper stuff at first. Then she asks for the groom and has him get on the floor on his back. This chick pulls a bag of blow pops out of her bag and we're all a bit confused. She jams this thing up her snatch so only the stick is visible. Now come the balloons. She has him bite these balloons one by one so she can straddle his face and pop them with her snatch stick. Pretty funny stuff. Once her balloons ran out, she told him to bite the stick and pull the blow pop out, which he did. She turned it around and had him suck the dang thing. I think it's only shocking BC of how gross she was. I mean, she's a stranger and we know nothing of her personal health. But I thought I was gonna catch something just looking at this poor girl. Groom seems a bit uneasy but is going with it. She reaches back into her bag of assorted abominations and pulls out a can of whipped cream. Surely this will be a bit more tame, right? Whipped cream on her tea or something? Nope. She sprays this crap inside of herself, then sits on dude's face. As you can imagine, she is now the whipped cream dispenser in the groom's mouth as her target. It didn't take long for him to decide he wanted his mouth closed for this, so now she's leaking this stuff all over his face and grinding it in there. That's where the energy in the room kinda fizzled out. I don't think any of us expected anything like that to happen. Once she finished with the groom, she was kind enough to turn her attention back to the rest of us to offer various sexual services for the right price. Best man paid for a handy in the bathroom. Groom was offered the full package for free. He politely declined. In fact, he thought it best to call his fiancée and have her pick him up, which he did. We thought she was gonna be pee when she showed up but I think she could see how little he actually enjoyed himself. Shell shocked would probably be the best description. This is how strippers assert dominance. Also, IT managers. I didn't witness it but it happened it happened in my city to guy I kind of knew. He died at his bachelor party. That pretty much ruined the wedding. Comma pretty much ruined the wedding. Only because the bride found out. My best friend. Bride. Her future sister-in-laws. Both girls are engaged to the husband to be brothers, got down to g-strings with the topples waiters, also in their undies, while playing some strip card game. They also were licking the guy's body all over and were rubbing all over them. Funny thing was when it came to the bucks night the next week the same girls that got naked were all crying because the boys had a stripper when they made them promise not to get one. Ah, projecting. They reacted to the situation as though they knew the hubs would cheat because that's what they themselves would have done, did do, in the same situation. Bride gave a BJ to the stripper her future sister-in-law maid of honor ordered. Worst thing I have ever witnessed. Fast forward, they are still happily married almost 20 years, 3 kids, 
I just don't get these giving blowjobs to strippers stories. I like giving head, but sorry, if I were paying someone to mess around with me I'd want to be the one getting off. During my cousin's bachelor party, me and my brother walked into the bathroom and saw my cousin sucking his fiancé's father's dong. We walked out, never brought it up again, and three years later they still appear to be happily married. Father-in-law putting that anything you do to my daughter I'll do to you clause into effect. After my best friend's bachelor party, he told all of us he was going to tell his fiancé what happened so there would be no secrets, which was fine. But when he did, he left out the part about the stripper we hired to ride in the bus with us and entertain between stops. So two weeks before the wedding the fiancé was talking to one of the guys that was there. He thought she knew everything so he said something about the bus stripper. She went nuts almost called off the wedding because what else didn't you tell me and when they still had the wedding I, best man, was nearly uninvited. Kate at a party a month ago. The groom tried to force his hand into the bridesmaid's dress at the bar surrounded by people saying come on this is our last chance and her saying repeatedly get the freaking frick off me see. Full on sex with strippers. I went to a bachelor party once where a bar was rented. It started out aim. There was just food and drinks. And then the first wave of strippers came. There was a second floor where the strippers took guys to blow frick them. The bachelor must have gone up with at least three different girls. Then another wave of strippers came. The bachelor had fun, but you know who had even more fun? Every married guy there. They were fricking like it was the apocalypse. The guy who invited me also had a similar bachelor party at a restaurant. Which sadly, happened before I knew him so I missed out. I heard the stories though. There were naked strippers running around everywhere. Not only was the bachelor and his friends banned from having another party there again, they were banned from even eating at the restaurant. Comma they were freaking like it was the apocalypse. Sometimes I think I'm the only person who would actually try to survive an apocalypse. No idea if he followed through with his inquiry, but the groom was asking the stripper just how far she would go. I noped out of that one considering they had invited me halfway into the night, so I showed up completely sober to a basement full of banana peels and weird smells. Fairly certain I was only there for 10 minutes tops. Barely knew the groom was friend of a friend so just really didn't care to stick around. The bride just didn't come home with the groom at night. Turns out she slept with another guy and spent the night with him. The first guy she fricked after getting married was not her husband. That's no bachelorette party. I once ended up in a foursome with a couple that was to be married the next day. I didn't know them and only ended up there because the girl I had previously dated for a few months and still had a thing for was their friend and the guy's ex. Both girls got me drunk at a club without me realizing their intentions for the night. It was a very bad situation seeing the girl I liked being fricked by some dude. She told me she was a lesbian, and I really didn't enjoy myself. Corkwood next day, when the couple took me back to my car. Upon exiting the car I didn't know what to say, but for some reason went with, good luck with your marriage, they just stared at me and I closed the door. Good luck with your marriage. This makes it hilarious. I know you said it was a bad situation but now you've got a funny story to tell. Guy I used to be best friends with ended up having a threesome the night before he got married. Soon to be wife was not included. Girl I went to high school with hooked up with two guys. Train style. A week before she got married. PSH. Two guys. That's not a train. That's barely even a monorail. I was a groomsman in a wedding where the bachelor party was a week from the wedding. Groom got so drunk and fell off a deck 3 floors up. Broke both of his wrists and had to have his head shaved so he could get stitches above his right ear. The bride and her family were thrilled. My buddy really hasn't gotten drunk since. This was 4 year ago. I'll scan the wedding picture when I have a chance. The bachelorette fooled around with the stripper, but no one knew until 9 months ish after the wedding when she gave birth to a little boy. The little boy was black. Mum and dad were very white. The stripper was black. I didn't die. Frick my best man or become the target of a human whipped cream dispenser, sea thread, or some redding. But I did end up blind drunk with one of the skanky strippers ever to enter the profession. It started off tame enough. 
then there's a massive hole in my memory, then I remember a lot of tongue and heavy groping in the hallway. Thank Christ my best man, the one I didn't frick, pulled me off her and out of the house. We wound up in the ditch howling at the full moon. The next day me and my massively painful hangover visited everyone at brought a camera and burned the film on the backyard grill. Good times. Your best man is an awesome friend. Got into an argument about whether or not Jean Grey was more attractive than Rogue. Yet, yeah, my bachelorette party was off the hook. My wife was a bridesmaid for a wedding in Kenya. We both got thrown in jail. Deserves a longer story and more upvotes. I went to one once where the bride cried all night long about an ex that was in the military, saying she was only marrying the groom because he was here. She's pregnant now. So, there's that. Oh my god that is a sad story. All I can say is what I have heard from rumors. My buddy's fiance had her bachelorette party up in Whistler. Apparently she got hammered in the middle of it and vanished with a large group of men. Her friends could not find her for the rest of the night. When she got back the next day she refused to tell anyone where she went or where she stayed. She also will not talk to most of the girls who went as bridesmaids anymore. Her now husband denies anything happened but quickly shuts us up if we ask. So far. Still married 5 years later. That sounds really creepy. Not marriage breaking but I have to share. Stripper came to the house party, and for her final trick she shoved an entire roll of quarters up her snatch. She proceeded to walk around and give each guy 50 cents without using her hands. That's actually rather impressive. I nearly missed my wedding for alcohol poisoning concussion. I drank a fifth of bullet, shared a fifth of soco with my best man and my groomsmen and I split a 30 rack and a handle of Jack Daniels. I blacked out pretty badly and had a head injury. I passed out not too long after that and in my sleep I was gyrating on the floor. I was cold and my breathing was irregular. They all passed out too. I woke up like 4 hours before the wedding in a pile of vomit and blood. I drove still drunk to my house. It took 2 hours to shower and get dressed. I had to stop at the gas station to buy some Gatorade. I showed up to, to the wedding an hour before the ceremony. Luckily my father-in-law thought it was hilarious and my wife never knew how bad it was. A groomsman's girlfriend did such a good makeup job on my still bloody forehead that nobody knew. I wasn't sober until I was on the stage watching the bridesmaids come in. Never ever ever have your bachelor party the night before. I used to be a male entertainer in college. Pretty much every bachelorette party ended with the bride screwing one of the performers. Like, 95% of the time. I spent a week backpacking, summiting and rock climbing with a couple buddies for my bachelor party. When we got back to civilization, bathed and tried to go out, we were all too tired to party by midnight. Skipped the strip club and took a cab home. It was awesome. I was a bouncer at a few strip clubs. I've seen so many brides and grooms frick the stripper that it's not even funny. In fact, I'm hard pressed to think of a time where it didn't happen. I think the worst one was a bride on stage on top of the male stripper, with one of the bartenders fricking her up the butt while she blew one of the bouncers. Not me. The brides were off limits in my book. Bridesmaids, however, the bachelorette parties were by far the wildest. Hands down. Bachelor parties would get bad, and some of the strippers might get banged. Big bachelorette parties? First they rent out the club or the VIP, then they get unbelievably drunk. Invariably someone introduces drugs into it, then someone gets the idea to bring in sex toys. So you had a bunch of drunk frisky women and like 6 guys, 1 3 of them who are there to get naked in the first place. Pretty soon women are getting naked and grabbing whatever is handy, and you've been told by the club owner to pretty much let them do whatever they want. My brother-in-law got spanked by a bunch of H in a Vegas hotel room that we spent $10,000 on. He got a blowjob in the bathroom and pass out in the bathtub. Good times. The bride kissed me at her wedding a little over a year ago. Within a year she was divorced and dating another guy we went to high school with. Strangely, I'm persona non grata. A female friend of mine got fricked by a dog and gave another dog a BJ at the same time. It should also be noted that the dogs were about as large as her and dressed as marshmallows. As the dude of the dadagosto, sometimes people call me up and ask if I can bring them stuff. 
you know, soda and the like. So I'm heading to this party to bring some soda for the guys. And I get there and there's a stripper half naked. I'm down to clown. So I give the guy his soda and I watch for a few minutes. She must have been a H not a stripper because about 3 minutes pass and she's fully nude and asking who wants to spit roast her. Two guys put their hands up. Everyone else is real quiet. Two guys and H go into the bedroom and I get up to leave after enjoying some soda. I hear dude my wife will never know about this right as I walk through the hallway to the back door. I can only make assumptions about the whole situation because I was there for maybe 20 minutes and I only talked to the dude who wanted the soda. Who was much more interested in the soda than the rest of what was happening. Go to the hub. Type in bachelorette. Do what you do at the hub. Cringe after the fact. Ask yourself why betrayal can possibly be sexy. This woman showed up at my bachelor's party. She was hot with an amazing butt. After a few minutes she convinced me to have some of the most amazing, dirty, unprotected sex of my life. I didn't really feel bad because it was just her and I. And she was my fiance. I realize this story doesn't quite belong in this thread. But I wanted the people losing hope to know that it's not all drugs and cheating. Girl I know rented out an apartment in Miami to have her bachelorette party. The bridesmaids and bride proceed to get drunk and have a good time. As the night progresses, the bride complains more and more about being frisky and wanting to get fricked by any random guy. Her bridesmaids do their best to stop her because they don't want her to cheat on her soon to be husband. In the end the maid of honor ate out her pee in the bathroom for over an hour. My wife and I rented a giant cabin that was split in two. Two families could rent it at the same time, for the weekend. The first night it was separate, doors locked no mixing, and the second night we opened the place up. On the first night I got super high and decided it would be romantic to scale the three story scaffolding onto the top deck to see my wife. I was denied at the top, by my wife, and had to climb back down while my friends also high, laughed at me. After that I started drinking and passed out shortly after midnight. Evidently after I fell asleep one of the bridesmaids puked all over the girl's side of the cabin. My best man fellatiated a dildo stolen from the bachelorette party, and one of the married bridesmaids was grabbing handfuls of crotch and tried to sleep with a groomsman. I miss the best parties. A few years ago I was working at a pretty popular bar restaurant that was frequented by bachelor bachelorette parties. I usually loved working them because who doesn't like penis shaped glitter and embarrassing drunk speeches? But, there was one bachelorette party that started to get out of hand they somehow managed to rack up almost $1000 worth of shots and drinks in under 2 hours. As most servers know, when it's busy you're lucky to get maybe 5 seconds to run off to the bathroom. Apparently I chose the wrong 5 seconds, because I walked in on the bride to be enjoying her last minutes of freedom with the groom to be from a different party, in the bathroom, not even in a stall. They had met less than 20 minutes before. Yuck. A guy that worked for me took some time off for his brother's wedding. He wouldn't say much when he got back. What he did say was, he'd seen his brother naked for the first time in a long time. The police were called. There was no wedding. He was no longer on speaking terms with his brother. Walked in on the groom getting his dong sucked by the nastiest H. She was fat. Smelled like something I can't really describe but will never forget. Had few teeth left. And bite mark all up her thighs. She was only there on account of the groom's tweaker cousin taking it upon himself to pick her up after the strippers are arranged flaked out. Pretty freaking terrible evening. I plan host bachelor parties. I take them to the great outdoors for a weekend of adventure and fun with the guys. It seems more and more people these days would rather have a great weekend of fishing, rafting, and shooting with the guys rather than hit up the bars and waste a lot of money. A friend of mine, bride, got drunk and went on and on about how much she didn't want to get married to the guy. It was really strange and sad because none of us had any idea she felt that way. Well, there was a large amount of opium involved. Long story short, drunken shenanigans turned into the best man calling someone both him and the groom knew from their dark and sordid past. I was a groomsman, and I'd only known the groom for about 5 years at this point. Fast forward 25 minutes and it looked like we were in a goddamn den. Fiance did not approve of drug use. 
said she leave him if he even hit grass again. She grows now. Pretty cool broad. Actually sounds really sad. She was strictly against drugs. Married an opium smoking douchebag who turned her into a woman that grows her own drugs. Well when I ever get married, my brother will be in the wedding party to be a spy. All this stuff grosses me out. Isn't the point of getting married to be with one person? If you need to frick people right before to get it out of your system then don't even bother getting married. Save both parties the future heartache. Careful. Based on these stories alone your brother might end up blowing your future husband. If you're about to be married, like myself, don't read. I no longer know if I should be freaking my best man, sucking my father-in-law's dong, attempting to hunt down my wife as she is enjoying a spa day as she may or may not be the 95% of women that frick a stripper whilst a great dane dry humps her neck. I was out at the bar when I started partying with a bachelorette party. The bride to be was having a fun time, drunk, not too plastered, but having a good night. She started holding onto my arm and not letting me go further than the length of my own arm from her. A couple of her friends went for a smoke and as soon as they were out of sight she looked at me and said if we went downstairs right now, could you perform? I was a little drunk and foolish and I did not click in my response was I've only ever played one instrument in my entire life, thinking about the guitar I used to own. Off we go. Or rather she went dragging me downstairs, towards the men's washroom, inside the men's washroom. That's when I clicked in, and yes I did follow through. Her girlfriends came banging at the store door midway through. Not cool brosapine. At my buddy's bachelor party his married friend had a prostitute sit on his face and fart on it. I know it's not the groom but he later got pink eye and his wife was trying to figure out how he got pink eye lol. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.